Good morning guys. It is super hot. Like we have had some crazy weather over the past couple of days. It's been between like 32 and 36. It's just been, oh, it's been horrible. If you guys remember in the last video, we got this Falcon finally sorted. She's finally boosting up to 18 pound again. This thing is just awesome and changing tunes on the go is just, oh, the thing is amazing right now. I'm so keen to get this thing on a road trip soon. It's going to be so much fun. But today we're going to be mainly focusing on the R33. And not just today, probably the next two days. I really want to get this thing paint corrected. I have heaps of stuff that I managed to borrow from work. I have like a Shine Matte, Shine Matte Dual Action Polisher down there. As well as a couple of different extra pads. I've also got some like heavy cut and some fine, like some finishing cut as well. This thing is going to look so rad. So if you guys, you know, it, you can kind of see the paint's really kind of hazy and I'm going to go into a little bit more depth a little bit later after I actually wash the car first. But yeah, uh, this thing is in desperate need of just a really, really long clean up. And you guys might be thinking, but it's a drift car and it doesn't really need to have this all done. It honestly really doesn't, but this is just me. I still don't really care if this thing gets beat up on the track because I know that I can pretty much polish most of the stuff out. But yeah, I just want to start fresh with this thing. I know this thing can be so much cleaner than what it is at the moment. So we're going to give it a shot and see how we go. Okay, so today with the 33, I'm going to give you guys a massive rundown as to what we're doing with this car. So first of all, we're going to be washing it and just basically getting all the red dirt and everything else off it. I'm probably going to go with the engine bay as well, make sure I get all this stuff off the, uh, off the glass as well. This thing is just an absolute peak. It's just bleh. For the most part, this thing is actually pretty clean, but yeah, obviously I have to like completely decontaminate the paint before I actually start doing anything. So I'm going to go over with a pH neutral soap, get rid of all the uh, get rid of all the wax that's currently on the car that any previous owners might have put on it. Um, completely decontaminate the paint. So going over it with a clay bar, making sure everything is schmick, and then we're going to be basically polishing it in here. Alright, so the car's paint is all finished and I don't even know if I want to track this thing anymore. This thing has such a clean shell, it's not funny. Like, after its first wash, basically all that horrible sort of like, that orange haze that it had from Childers has all gone. It looks pure white right now. The only things I was having an issue with at the moment was around the exhaust. Um, a lot of this stuff is just staying into the into the stuff. Normally I'd use a degreaser on that sort of stuff like I did for Samet's car, but um, I don't have any degreaser today. So I'm just gonna use uh, the buffer just to do that. But I'm probably gonna do that last because I don't want to cake up my, uh, my things. And yeah, this car is ready for step two. So pretty much, I don't know whether I'm going to rip out the interior first or just do the paint first. I think I might do the interior all of tomorrow and just today focus on the paint. Um, yeah, that way you can kind of make two videos as well, doing the interior clean and then the paint clean as well. So, yeah, I love it. It's cool. 
So another thing I'm doing as well is I'm just ripping out all these like window trims that are easy to get to, um, just to make sure that there's no rust underneath them, and so that when I'm going over with my polisher, I don't make them white, because that is the worst thing you can possibly do, because it doesn't come out, you have to restain it. So, just put that there somewhere, and then just sort of, you know, I'll be able to get to all these little places as well with all this red dirt. So, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking exactly why I am doing this before I do anything else in terms of reliability engine stuff like that. Basically, because of this road trip that I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of days, the car's pretty much gonna be sitting for around about a month, and then I kind of really wanna do it in a series where, you know, we rip out the engine, we see what's wrong with it, we rebuild it, we take out the gearbox, we replace it, we do that sort of stuff. I kinda of wanna do it all at once, and for that video to kinda of be broken up and then also have Sarah not be able to use the driveway or the garage because I'm gonna have my car in pieces all over it while I'm away on my road trip. It's probably not gonna work that way, so I really want to leave it sit the way it is at the moment. Once I come back from my road trip, then we'll start, you know, playing around with some stuff and, and finally getting this thing exactly where I want it so we can actually properly start drifting. The other thing that I'm also planning at the moment is I really want to do a livery on this car. So I don't know, I don't know exactly what I want to do. I love the look of Adam LZ's R32 that he has, um, but that's obviously red, like a, like a bright red. Um, so I was thinking, I kind of like the way that people are doing kind of like the gunmetal gray and the turquoise look at the moment. I'm not going to do a full wrap, just like a sort of thing up the side, but I think it would be cool to do like a, like a really deep turquoise and gum, like a satin gray wrap across the side of it. I reckon it'll look pretty sweet, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Rightio, so this is the half of the bonnet that we're going to be doing first. I just want to double check to make sure everything's going to go smoothly. Um, so what we're going to be using is the ShineMate, one of their largest drill action polishers. This thing's awesome to use. And also I'm going to be using the um, Menzona uh, medium cut uh, polish at the moment, which is basically like their the medium sort of range. This paint, I could imagine, is probably s s sort of kind of soft. So we're going to see how we go with this first. Um, I do have a heavy cut, I do have a light cut, so we can do both at the same time um, and work out what the best is. I've also got a couple of different pads. It's not going to be too aggressive, it's going to be fairly light, but we can go up and back from there using different things. So, let's see how we go. bonnet, the driver's guard, and the driver's door. And these things look just so insane. Look at that. Now I must admit, I'm finding a fair few dents around this car, but obviously I don't really care too much. Um, but when you start going over it with a fine tooth comb, of course, you're gonna find dents like this little bad boy right here. And uh, there's a big one in the door right there as well. I always knew about that one. Um, but yeah, also there's a tiny little paint touch up there as well. I've also found out that this car has had a full front end respray as well, um, but not a very good job. <laughs> as you can see, there's a massive big paint run down there, but I don't care at all whatsoever. It's good because as much as I like having things nice and shiny and clean, the fact that there's defects over this just is making me not care about it more in a way. So of, of course I care about it and it's a beautiful car and everything else as well. But the more defects I find in it, the more I wouldn't really mind if something else happened to it. So it's kind of working out well for me. So yeah, I'm keen. So I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but this is pretty much what we're doing today. Like you guys can see like the white here, it's a cool white and obviously it's, it's just a little bit faded. It's obviously been uh, sort of, the paint's sort of been poorly taken care of. Um, but when you sort of bring it back here, you can see the color change is completely different. Now that's still got a little bit of polish on it, so it's still gonna brighten up a little bit, but you can see pretty much the paint underneath is pure white now, instead of being like that really dull, faded, shoulders, disgusting dirt red. 
to a nice pure white and that's going to be over the entire car so nice so so far this entire side of the car is done it looks red i love it i can't get over how glossy like just as that is right there so rad this is one section where you'll be able to see a lot of the dirt kind of i can't get my buff in there but you'll be able to see like how much this has changed like this was all over all over the spoiler and the boot but now it's just pure white so much nicer and i wish but i can't get all the swirls underneath here because of the <laughs> because of the wing and uh, i don't really want to take this off because that's just too much work i know it's like four bolts but it's too much work for me how dare i rightio i'm on hat number two for this video um <laughs> so we're going to quickly take out the car into the sun for the very first time uh it's pretty sunny and it's definitely going to provide like a pretty good comparison to what it was this morning uh, that's what it is now and this thing is looking insane like I don't know if you guys remember just how like brown it kind of looked the whole car but even like you guys will notice a big difference down here like look at this remember how this was like all just brown and disgusting that's all been taken out so wicked all this side here Right here. I'm too keen. Let's get into it. Let's move it outside. I am way too keen. But I just like open the door and now I see that it's all white and then I have a look at the door jam and it's got like all this disgusting stuff all stuffed in it. Ugh. Yo. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I am blown away. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yo! Oh my god! That's so clean! How is it this clean? This is annoying me. I don't like this. <laughs> wow! That has just 100% blown me away. Just that one simple thing, turn it from like that beigey white to such a bright, insane white. I am gobsmacked. I can't get over the sun rays here. Like, look at that. That's as good as, that's, it's honestly better than my Falcon. Wow. The roof too, looks amazing. Check out the wing, the boot lid. I even polished up the tail lights too. They look sick. I got into the headlights a little bit, but not too much. They look pretty good. I am blown away by how clean this thing is now. I just love like, all this, there's no more, no more exhaust gases, or no more exhaust staining. Alrighty, next step is going to be to wax this thing up. Of course, when you do a polish on your car, especially one that's kind of as coarse as the one I did as well, you definitely want to protect your paint with something that's going to go over the top. So think of wax as more like a sacrificial layer to your car. You know, you want something to happen to that first before it happens to your paint. And of course, wax is definitely going to help with that sun fading and just, you know, obviously your car at the moment, just after you polish it, is very bare. So you definitely want to protect it with something. I have this right here. It's just Bowden's Lazy Wax. It's be perfect, especially just for what I've done, so. Alrighty. I think it's time for a bead test. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Actually, Fender's probably a heap better. No way. That's rad. Here you go, guys. Oh, man, why did I have to do this? Someone remind me why I did this again. Guys, this thing here, I've just completely and utterly fallen in love with it. It is amazing. So this is pretty much the end of this video. The next video you guys are going to see is when me and Sarah dive into the interior in this thing. So as I said before earlier on in the video, the interior on this hasn't been cleaned in 25 years. 
I like shampoo and stuff like that. Obviously, it's been vacuumed and stuff like that. And it looks pretty good, but there's a lot of dust buildup. There's a lot of dirt buildup. There's a lot of just Japanese slime buildup. There's just so many things that I really want to get into it. So, uh, yeah, this thing should be mint. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching this video. I had a blast making it. This thing looks amazing, and I'm like... I'm so keen to get stuck into all the uh, all the servicing side of it and the mechanical side of it as soon as I'm back from my holiday. Man, I got polish in my eyes, my eyes are sore. If you like the video, please remember to leave a like, that would be amazing, it really helps me out as a creator and uh, helps me out for my biggest decision I possibly have ever made, which you guys will see in a future video. Uh, yeah, that'd be amazing if you guys liked it and uh, if you guys remember to like the content, re remember to like the content, remember to subscribe, that would be amazing. And uh, if you guys want to comment what you think of the car or any future videos down below, yeah, remember to comment. That'd be wicked. Hope you guys have a good night. See you all later. Peace out.